Hey guys, in this Figma tutorial, we're going to create this web designs from scratch. Now, I want to remind you that I just released a new free how to get started in the UI UX design course, in which I'm going to share tips and advice on the best ways in order to kickstart your career in UI UX. And I've been a UI UX designer for over eight years now, and I'm also sharing the free source files of this Figma tutorials and also all the other design tutorials on my YouTube channel. So feel free to check it out. And now without further ado, let's get started. So let's go ahead and let's select the frame tool. And then we're going to select the desktop 1440 pixels of width. Now we're also going to rename by double clicking on this frame, the actual frame. And let's go ahead and let's create the very first logo. So I'm just going to write uh, here the text for the logo. And in this specific example, we're going to use uh, a free Google web font, which is called Open Sans, which uh, you can find uh, on uh, uh, the Google website for free again. And uh, let's uh, enlarge this text just a little bit. And what we're going to do next is we're going to actually duplicate this, uh, make it smaller and start creating the top level menu. So we're going to write here about and uh, let's make this one uh, like that. And we're going to duplicate it just a few times by using a shift plus option and then command D a few times. And then we're going to write in services. This one's going to be portfolio. And over here, we're going to have the contacts section. All right, so far, so good. Now we're also adding a buy now button at the very end. And uh, in order to do that, we're going to leverage the rectangle tool. So let's bring it back and uh, let's make this uh, a color around these lines, a blue, which isn't uh, fully, uh, which isn't too dark, I guess. And uh, Maybe let's uh, just add a little bit uh, of a corner radius around the borders, but just not uh, too much of it. All right, so far so good. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead uh, and start adding the layout grids so that uh, <clears throat> we can be sure that uh, we're using a layout. We're going to go with uh, 12 columns. We're also going to add uh, more margin on the side. And in order to make uh, the work easier for us, uh, we're actually going ahead and uh, just tone down the color of uh, these uh, columns. So we can see better what we're actually doing. All right, so it's looking uh, good so far. And uh, Actually, let's bring this one over here and uh, maybe let's try and make this one bold. Um, not too sure about it. And uh, I'm actually not too sure about this uh, style. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make it uh, all caps. Could have changed it easily from uh, a setting, but this was just uh, uh, easy and fast enough for us to consider. And uh, Let's go ahead and this is already looking uh, better. I want a more elegant feeling in, in this one specifically. So that's what we're going to go with. Now let's write uh, some text. Uh, so And let's uh, make this one uh, instead of bold, let's make it regular. And uh, we're actually going to go ahead and use the, um, the auto height. Let's uh, make it bigger overall. And also add a little bit of uh, line height uh, in between. Maybe, maybe instead of regular, we can consider even semi bold. No, actually, let's just stick with regular. All right, and uh, on the top, we're going to use uh, a let's 
go ahead and let's make this one smaller. So we're adding a small um, pre-headline, if you wish, and uh, this is going to essentially give us some, uh, some extra room for the description. And talking about description, now we're actually going to go ahead and add some lorem ipsum just below so that we can uh, describe the service in more detail. Let's add some more line height in between. We're going to make this one a regular. Also, let's increase the size just a bit. All right, so far, so good. Now, what we're gonna do next is we're going to duplicate this button, bring it over here, and uh, over here we're going to write uh, learn more and uh, we're going to stretch this just a bit and one thing that we can definitely do is to add the auto layout to make uh, the work easier on us as you can see once we add the auto layout and we say for example um, what could be a secondary call to action contact us you can see how the auto layout is essentially resizing everything for us. So this is definitely something which is pretty cool and can save a bunch of time and effort for sure. Now let's go ahead over here, let's add some uh, drop shadow effects. Let's increase this. And there we go. All right, so this is working pretty well so far. And uh, the very next thing that we're gonna do is, uh, well, before actually moving to the next thing, I'm just going to change the background color just to make it less uh, aggressive on the eye, if you wish. We're actually going to add uh, a uh, image from uh, a landing page of a product of uh, LS Graphics which, uh, by the way, they offer amazing uh, mockups and uh, UI kits. I'm going to leave the link in the description. There are some of the highest uh, fidelity and highest quality um, mockups and UI kits that you're going to find around. So highly recommend you to check it out. Uh, uh, there's a lot of freebies as well in the website. So yeah, that's uh, that. Now we, we need to remove one word since uh, this is not staying uh, in uh, any more. And the very best choice in order to, let's just remove the very, and that will solve the issue. All right, this is uh, working pretty well now. And uh, one thing that we definitely want to do is, uh, probably let's consider and changing the, the color of the buttons to this one right here in order to maintain the consistency. I don't want it to, to blend in too much. So maybe you can consider even like different colors such as this. Uh, um, however, I prefer the, the other ones. So we're probably going to just go ahead and stick uh, with those instead. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, let's uh, just make this, uh, uh, let's just create a duplicate of this. Uh, since uh, we already have the base. But before we do that, uh, let's add the scroll down section. And we're going to pretty much simulate uh, the, um, like a mouse. So I'm going to round it up all the way. Let's bring it up here. Let's remove the fill. Let's make it two. We're actually going to go ahead and add a stroke of two right here as well. And let's use a rounded joint. All right, so far so good. Let's make it just a little bit smaller. And uh, let's make it 50% opacity and that uh, will do. All right, 
it's looking pretty good. Now we're going to create a few variations of this in order to have uh, some, uh, well, some variety. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's create uh, a version where the background color is going to be different. Let's change the colors of all of these guys right here. Now we're going to change the color to the actual Okay, so since it's not a PNG, <laughs> unfortunately, we're not going to have uh, the uh, the background uh, without the white. One quick thing that we can do though, and uh, this is going to be a quick win whenever you want to remove a background quickly. I mean, the best way is to actually go in uh, Adobe Photoshop, remove it the proper way. So, you know, you can do a, a very precise uh, um, you can do a very precise thing, but let's go and remove dot bg and let's drag and drop the image. And this is going to magically, okay, perfect. It's, it, it always works until I do videos. <laughs> so just keep in mind that research, it didn't work in this case because it's a little bit tricky. I understand that also here there, there is some text, but it usually works really, really well whenever you need to remove a background in a quick and efficient way. So yeah, just, just keep it in mind. And now we're going to change the, the color of this uh, green, both here and here in order to make it more saturated so that it stands out more. And by the way, over here, one thing that we can do at least uh, is to round up this uh, uh, this image and there we go here's the first variation we're going to create a second variation let's go ahead over here let's create uh, perhaps uh, something different so this is going to be maybe like two different colors and uh, this, is, this is looking pretty pretty cool Let's make it uh, in a diagonal. And let's try and use uh, orange instead or a light, uh, a light tint uh, of orange. Yeah, this one's looking pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can literally go from there. So. Really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I uh, want to remind you that on my YouTube channel I have uh, over 400 videos on Figma tutorials, Sketch tutorials, Adobe XD tutorials, as well as uh, informational videos sharing my over eight years of experience uh, working as a UI UX designer. So feel free to check it out if you're interested in uh, this type of tutorials and I'll see you in the next video.